Another problem with parenting teens in COVID is uh, the parents' expectation. How it affects the children. The expectations of uh, parents are limitless. A lot of uh, parents have huge expectations from their children, yes. That is true and uh, that is the nature of every parent. But the parent should accept the kid as a kid or the child as a child. If they expect the child to respond like adult, definitely there will be disappointments. So the parents generally go into a lot of constant comparisons with other children. And also comparison of their own self. The parents may feel like when I was young, when I was a child like you, I was doing like this, I was earning uh, so much, so many things, I was getting so many medals, I was first in the class, I was achieving this, that and all. So this sort of comparison with their younger age and with the child and, and telling the child that the child is not performing uh, as per the expectations of the parent, what happens? The child will start losing its self-esteem. The child will feel low in front of the parent, especially this is more during the COVID because more time the parents uh, spend with the children. So they they want to do something. They wanted to just um, uh, expect a miracle to happen overnight. So when they are at home, uh, they see a lot of social media and they talk to their friends. When the parent talk to their uh, friend or a relative, they say something like, my child has completed this course, my child has finished this, my child is doing this, that and all. They will post something in the social media. So immediately this parent, what happens, they'll start comparing their children and say like, see that child is doing this, the child is very smart, the child has uh, done some online competition and won some prizes, see what you're doing, you're just sleeping, you're just watching TV, you're not doing anything. So this type of comparisons and pestering uh, uh, the children uh, by comparing other children, what happens is the child loses uh, interest and self-esteem and feel low at uh, their own self. So the, the best thing here is like instead of interacting much on social media or on uh, uh, over phone about other children, better concentrate on their own children. So every individual children will have some unique strength and unique personality. Something uh, good will be there which they would not have uh, brought it out so far because they, were, they would not have provided some platform for that. So the parents should uh, make sure and uh, give a thought of giving them a platform, allowing the child to perform on whatever they are good at. So that that will help the child to uh, come out with their strengths and abilities. And the parents should keep encouraging whatever the child does because uh, this is how the child will uh, get the freedom to show much more abilities of its and uh, get the feel like yes my parent will uh, encourage support uh, they'll motivate they'll clap for me they'll uh, hug me so this sort of um, uh, compliments you know will encourage the children to bring out more of their uh, skills so expectations of the parents will match with the child uh, provided the parent understand the child's strength when they start understanding this is what is my child, this is what is the uniqueness of my child. So let me start encouraging the child. The child may even come out beyond the expectations of the parents sometimes. But this all depends upon when you, when you understand the strength of the child and start encouraging the child to do what the child is interested in. So comparing with the other child is not going to give anything. You are also going to be stressed and the child also is going to lose its self-esteem and confidence and it will not show any of its skill because the child will be thinking that the expectations of the parents is too high and they, it cannot meet the expectations of the parent because the parent will expect the child to respond like an adult. So you need to understand the child is a child and go to the level you have some empathy and emotional intelligence and understand where the child stand and what are the capabilities of the child and how much it can <coughs> come out each child will have its own abilities and some child will come out in a shorter period and some uh, child will expose or um, come out in a later stage also so we cannot uh, uh, underestimate a child just because it is not showing off uh, the talents <coughs> or the output so uh, be with the child and enjoy whatever the child does and encourage the child for whatever it does. Stay blessed.